Renewable energy seems to be in every conversation these days, and it's not hard to see why, because when you look around you can see the amount of investment that's been poured into this kind of engineering. And wind energy is no exception, with wind farms being constructed on land and at sea. Now there are pros and cons to this technology, however the basic principle itself is really quite simple. Now I saw an item on eBay which I thought would make a great demonstration and it's something that you can have a go at yourselves just to explain the basic principle of wind energy generation. So let's take a look at what it is that we have. So that's the basic kit then. Now I've already glued these uprights onto the base unit just to save a little bit of time. Now I'm going to use this motor here. This is a direct current motor or DC motor. Now if you want to know anything about motors there's so much information on YouTube uh, it, it really isn't worth my time sort of explaining how these things operate but just know that this motor has to be powered by a couple of batteries and when it does the shaft on here will turn and this propeller is going to be attached to that shaft and that's going to be our fake wind source or our, our source of wind. So the propeller will turn and it will act on this motor here which will have the wind vane attached to it and that will turn this motor. Now this motor is called a generator because this motor works almost in reverse to the way this one works and simply turning this rotor here will actually give us power out on these two leads. It's only a very small amount of power and it's enough hopefully to light up a small LED. So the first thing we'll do is I'll attach our battery holder with this double sided sticky tape. So the next thing to do is just take the cables off the battery holder and connect them to the terminals on the DC motor. Now for the time being I'm just going to push these cables through the holes. I can solder them afterwards but this is just to get the experiment up and running and just to see how it works. In case you're wondering it doesn't matter which way around these cables are attached to the motor. Switching these cables round will just change the direction that the motor operates in. Now you might be able to see that these cables are a little bit flimsy. I'm not too happy with them so I'm just going to put a little drop of solder on them. And if you haven't got a soldering iron then a little bit of glue will probably do the same job. Next thing to do is just to put this motor on top of this post with a zip tie running through it just to clamp it down. So with that motor in place we can now put the first propeller on and now we can do the same again on the other side with the motor that generates the electricity. And next I'm just going to stick this connector to the base I'm going to connect the cables from the generator motor and then finally I'll put an LED in there and put some power to it and we'll see what happens. Now if you're unsure as to which way around the LED goes you'll see that there's two legs on it and one is longer than the other. Now the longer one is the positive or the anode and that will connect to the red cable or the positive coming off the generating motor. Okay so that's it then it's ready to go. Now I have tested it already but I'll just point out that these cables I had the wrong way round so this was spinning in the opposite direction and it wasn't pushing the the wind vane so if you come across that you just need to swap these cables over. All of that out of the way we've got a switch on the battery compartment here and when we pull that down that will activate the, the motor and that will then spin the two wind vanes. So I'm going to dim the lights and we'll see if it all works. 
Okay, so as you can see, it all works and it generates a little bit of electricity, enough to light up the LED. So to summarise then, this is our wind power. It's being generated, of course, by these batteries, but this motor here and this wind vane have nothing attached to them. And just by virtue of the fact that the, we've got this spinning motion gives us or generates electricity because of the way this motor is actually set up. OK, so finally then, I just thought to demonstrate how much voltage was coming out of this generator. Now, it might not be surprising to some people uh, because an LED requires around about 3 volts for it to operate properly. So, we'll put this in here. The switch on. And you can see that the generating motor at the back is giving us around about 2.9 volts of direct current. <laughs> I hope that's inspired somebody to pick up one of these kits or maybe even go a step further and look into how motors actually operate and how we can get free energy by using generators and dynamos and things like that. But for now that's it, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.